Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So I'm really happy to say it's finally here, the Blackmagic Camera Setup 7.3, new firmware update for the 6K Pro, but also for the 4K and the 6K. And um, yeah, to, to be honest, the update now makes the 6K Pro my absolute favorite camera. It fixes a lot of things, it adds some nice features and uh, just let's dive into it. Um, and I'm going to show you what's new. So the elephant in the room, yes, the firmware update now fixes the blue tint issue of the 6K Pro screen because it lets you adjust color temperature and tint of the screen. And that's also um, the first thing I'm going to show you. You find the calibration in the menu, just hit menu, then go to setup. And then on the last page, there is a new calibrate screen setting. When you click on it, it uh, says adjust the control of the next screen so that the two reference patches look neutral. So this is a manual calibration, it's not an automatic calibration. But what you can do is you have two patches, a gray one and a white one, and then you can adjust the LCD temperature to make it warmer or cooler until your eyes see the two patches neutral. You can also adjust the tint also, some um, folks reported that there is a magenta shift of the um, of the LCD screen, but so I think it looks correct. And then you also um, can always go back and adjust the settings um, based on your liking. Calibration complete. Your camera is now ready to use. Yeah. So this essentially fixes the blue tint issue of the LCD, and I really think it's nice that they made it adjustable because they um, definitely could be some variations in the LCDs and so this is now adjustable on a user per user basis which is very nice. Um, another new feature is that they now added an RGB histogram um, down here. Um, I cannot show it to you because I have no lens attached but um, this is not not um, a Luma histogram anymore, it's an RGB histogram. And you see these three boxes um, be, um, at the side of the histogram and these are the color clipping indicators. They are also new, so they will show you if um, a certain color um, is clipping. And then they added a false color guide display, so if I activate false colors, you can see at the side of the screen there's a little graph that shows all the important false colors that the Blackmagic cameras have. So purple detail loss, blue near detail loss in the shadows, then you have 18% gray and um, Caucasian uh, skin tones with this um, rosé pink tones. And then you have 18% and 95%. In the highlights, I mean, every Blackmagic user normally knows all the false colors, but it's nice to have a little representation at the side of the screen, especially for new users. And as far as I know, you are not able to deactivate this false color guide display. I looked in the menus, found no um, option to remove the guide display. Then they also said they improved autofocus and active lens control. This is um, what I didn't check yet, but I read um, on Reddit or in the Blackmagic forum that um, already some 4K users are complaining that, for example, with the 12 to 35, their autofocus is not better than before. Um, but I don't care about autofocus and also don't care about active lens control because most of the times I'm using these beauties here, um, these are Zeiss contact lenses, um, cinemodded Zeiss contact lenses, and these are fully manual, so I don't care about any um, automatic lens control. This is the 28mm f2.8, and I recently also purchased the 50mm f1.4, and I absolutely love these lenses for their look, for their feel. So, who needs autofocus? Um, let's see. So they also improved focus peaking visibility. Um, the focus peaking was a little bit faint and this is also nice. And they also fixed an issue with importing LUTs and presets. So if I hop into the LUT menu, you can see that I already imported um, battery LUTs and also a Leeming LUT for the Blackmagic and I can now simply import them, activate them, and then they are active. And this is also perfect because I really enjoy 
using the battery LUTs for monitoring, also for, for editing. Now I'm able to see the, the more or less final result on the screen. There are also some new things they added to the Pocket 4K and the Pocket 6K. So the main thing is that they added Gen 5 color signs to these cameras. They also added um, LCD dimming uh, function for power conservation. And last but not least, they also added um, an option to record constant quality in Q1 and Q3. Before the update, the 4K and the 6K were only, only able to record in Q0 and Q5. Then the 6K Pro came out and there we had already the option to record in Q1 and Q3. So this is also nice to have a little more flexibility in terms of constant quality settings um, and that's all. Then we have um, some news for the Ursa and also with for Blackmagic RAW 2.0 but this is something you can read online it's not so relevant but that's all I'm really happy to have this firmware update now because this really fixes a lot of things I had some gripes with and it's really now for me the perfect camera and I'm so looking forward to use it more often also use it a little bit more outside that's it everything about the 7.3 update I have to say this really makes the pocket 6k pro my absolute favorite camera now everything I had a gripe with was fixed and I'm really looking forward to use it more and I'm also looking forward to say hello to you in one of my next videos update your camera if you have any questions just leave me a comment until then have a great day and bye bye